I'm really excited to show you this new plugin John's been working on. Uh, I might call it multi-group magic. So if you have a multi-group model, um, it's kind of a pain to test the differences. Uh, I've already shown in a different video how to set up a multi-group model uh, with multiple groups here. Um, and you can just look and you know see what are the differences in uh, regression weights. And you can go look at the p-values and see if they're different. But to run a multi-group analysis, um, even with the uh, multi-group analysis tool uh, down here, it's kind of a pain. Uh, you can watch my other video, but essentially you test a global difference, see if the model is different across groups. If it is, then you need to go and test path differences. And that's kind of a pain in the rear. And it takes a long time, and there's a lot of opportunity for user error. So... John came up with this. Check it out. This is called the invariance test. It's going to do a bunch of chi-squared difference tests. In fact, it runs as many times as um, as you have paths in the model. So it's going to run every path and constrain each path one at a time and see if there's a chi-square difference um, between the constrained and unconstrained models uh, for each path that it's constraining and it stores all those chi-square and degrees of freedom values and then produces a table that um, shows you whether there is a difference at the model level and whether there are differences at the local level. Here we go. Um, so at the global test is the model level and it looks like there is a difference that is less than 0.1 and our interpretation here is there is a, a significant chi-square difference test so the model does differ across group, groups um, and then if you go down to the local tests, it tests every path. It shows you um, the standardized estimate for group one and for group two, and whether those are significant and at what level, um, and then shows you the difference in the regression weights, and then it produces the p-value for that difference. And this is just based on a chi-square difference test. And then it interprets the outcome. So in this case, for the first one, from playfulness to usefulness, there is no difference. Um, both are significant, they're almost identical. The p-value for the difference is nothing. I mean, it's uh, there's no chance that's not different from zero. Um, whereas the next one, there is a significant difference, and the negative relationship between enjoyment and anxiety is stronger for females. And so we can see that here. Uh, there's a negative effect that is stronger for females than for males. In fact, for males, it's not even significant, but there is a significant difference between them. Um, there are rare occasions when you'll find... Um, that there is an interpretation, but there is no significant p-value. So here's one uh, from playfulness to information acquisition. You'll notice for males, it is a significant positive effect. For females, there is no effect uh, that is significant. And so uh, we observe there is no significant difference. However, the interpretation is that uh, the positive relationship between these two variables is only significant for males, meaning playfulness is only a good predictor of information acquisition for males. So even though the difference is not significant, um, it is meaningful that it is only significant, uh, a significant predictor for males. Uh, so that is some form of moderation there. Anyway, and when there is no difference, it says there's no difference. I hope that's helpful. Um, it sure should save you a lot of time. And I've already used it. I love it.